Midas Asima and today I'm going to bring you a new lesson on the usage of some very common words. What are they? They are a lot, very and so. Now all these words uh, kind of seem you know the same when it comes to using them in a sentence right but actually there is a difference in the way you use it so you can't use them interchangeably okay so let's have a look at how and when you might need to use either of these words in a sentence okay so the first rule okay we're going to deal with a lot first okay we're going to deal with these later on so uh, when using a lot okay if you are going to use a lot plus a noun then you are basically using that in a sentence when you want to indicate a large quantity or a very high number or a very large number of things or people or places okay so let's do it again when a lot of okay I might use the word off as well following that when a lot of is followed by a noun that means that sentence talks about anything with a huge number a large quantity it could be anything people places things animals whatever okay so the noun could be a countable noun or an uncountable noun we we'll look at that in an example okay the first example says there was a lot of alcohol served at the party okay there was a lot of so we've used a lot of followed by a noun in this case my noun is alcohol and this happens to be an uncountable noun because you can't count alcohol so alcohol in general is something that you can't count you can count the number of bottles or the number of glasses or pegs that you have drunk but you can't count alcohol because alcohol is a concept or a thing in general and therefore it qualifies as an uncountable noun a noun which you can't count as individual units okay so there was a lot of alcohol so a lot of is followed by a noun which could be uncountable in this case but it can also be a countable noun okay example number two we bought a lot of followed by another noun which in this case happens to be a countable noun right so we bought a lot of clothes on sale you can count clothes okay I own three pairs of jeans so you can count individual units of clothes right therefore that is a countable noun but when we are using a lot of followed by a noun we are again indicating that we are talking about a huge quantity or a large number okay so the basic rule to remember is that when you want to talk about a sentence you want to talk about a large quantity in a sentence you will always 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 use a lot followed by a noun okay now there is another way of using a lot of when a lot of proceed a lot of comes after a verb okay so over here a lot of came before a noun but over here a lot of comes after the verb so you have a verb followed by a lot which would mean that your sentence says that you are talking about something that happens very much or very frequently it could be either of the two so let's have a look at these sentences okay so uh, the first sentence says I like this dog a lot okay my verb comes first and we know that like is a verb right and it, it is followed by a lot which means in other words you can say I like this dog very much okay or I love my mother a lot I love my mother very much right so a verb followed by a lot meaning that you like something or you do something very much okay now let's take the second sentence which says he travels a lot for business assignments okay 
Uh, we also know that when a verb is followed by a lot, it could also mean frequently, correct? So, the sentence says he travels. Now, we all know that travels is a verb. It is followed by a lot, which over here means frequently. So, basically it says he travels frequently for business assignments. So, basically you use lot in two different ways. You use it before a noun or you can use it after uh, you can use it after a verb when you use it before a noun it basically means that you are indicating a large number or a very high quantity and when you are using it after a verb you can mean that you're talking about something that happens very much or very frequently okay we're gonna now deal with the other two words which is very and so all right so we're gonna now deal with the other two words which is very and so Okay, now these two words in some cases can be used interche interchangeably, which means one can be used for the other. So you could say so or you could use very followed by an adjective. Okay, what is an adjective for those who don't know? An adjective is any word which describes a noun. Okay, so words like scared, um, beautiful, or tall any word which describes a noun is an adjective okay so you can use a so or a very before an adjective so let's look at an example okay so I could say last night I was so scared okay so so is followed or so is so comes before the adjective but because you can use so and very interchangeably you could also say last night I was very scared both are right both are absolutely right okay now when can you not use very and when can you not use so and very interchangeably rather so if you have a so before an adjective but you want to give more information then you will never use a very in place of a so for example when you want to give more information you know f to this sentence okay you want to you know add something more then you will have a so followed by an adjective followed by the word that and whatever extra information you want to put in you can put that in so you could say something like last night i was so followed by the adjective scared followed by that and any extra information that i almost cried myself to sleep okay so you say so and over here you can never use very because we're giving more information just imagine if i was say if i was to say last night i was very scared that i almost cried myself to sleep that is incorrect english you always say last night i was so scared that i almost cried myself to sleep okay or uh two years ago i was so short that I had to wear very high heels, right? So, so is always used when you want to give more information. But if you are not going to give more information, you can use so or very in front of an adjective. Okay, well, that brings me to the end of this lesson on using the words a lot, so and very. I hope you found it very interesting and very informative. I'll be back with some more lessons. Until then, this is me saying goodbye.